What is up guys, it's Tech Brothers here. The FedEx man just stopped by and we got our review of the late 2013 MacBook Pro Retina. Here it is guys, we're gonna flip it over. It's always nice opening a brand new Apple box. We're gonna take our trusty knife, get a few incisions right here to make sure the plastic comes off nice and smooth. We don't wanna ruin that box because I know lots of us Apple fanboys like to keep them around. Take this off, toss this to the side, we'll pick it up later. Ooh, that's the best feeling in the world. We're gonna take the tab off. We're gonna set this aside real quick and run through all the features. We've got our MagSafe 2 extender, our MagSafe 2 charger. Set that aside as well. We've got our trusty instruction manuals that everyone seems to look at. We'll set those aside, put those back in their box. Now we got the main event. Man, it's thin. Way thinner than my old one. I'm gonna open it up here. Notice a bit lighter as well. We're gonna slide it out. Put it down here. Open it up. Grab our little paper sheet. There she is. First things first, we're gonna run through our ports, specifications and stuff like that. We picked up the 2.3 gigahertz i7 model with this discrete 750M NVIDIA GeForce card with the Intel Iris Pro 5200 graphics card. We've got our MagSafe 2 connector, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, USB 3.0 and 2.0, and our headphone jack. On the other side, we've got our USB 3, HDMI, and SD card slot. Now, many of you guys might be in the same boat that we were on choosing what Mac you should get. You can either go the refurbished route, where you can save some money on the older previous earlier 2013 models, or spend a few hundred dollars more and go for the new late 2013 models. This is how we made our decision. Me, being a photographer and doing videos for YouTube and stuff like that, I wanted something that had a dedicated graphics card. So the base model, 15 inch, 2000 model, even though it's good and it performs up to par for most people, this wasn't the model for me. I picked out the top level model, not the 2.6 but the 2.3 because this fit my needs the best. It had the dedicated NVIDIA graphics card along with the Iris Pro 5200. Now. Some of you guys might not need all this power and can save some money getting the previous generation or the early 2013. They're both pro machines, but if, you're, if you want the faster SSD with the PCI-based flash, you're definitely going to pull about twice as fast speeds on this flash um, versus the older system. And if you want that Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 2.0. And some people have said that the previous screen in the MacBook Pros people have had problems with, but that's hearsay, so don't base your decision off that, especially you're going to have a one-year warranty anyways. When we were running through the Geekbenches, we pulled around 34 to 3,500 roughly um, on our single core 64-bit test with no apps open, and about around 13,400-ish on our multi-core score and this is a good balance you know we we wanted that high performance multi-core when we're doing our videos and apps that can take care that can take advantage of all those threads and all that um, processing power um, and it has a nice balance also with surfing the internet on our single core speeds um, that PCI based flash I was talking about earlier we pulled around 700s to 800 ish on our both read and write speeds um, when when we were testing that out. So overall, this is a great computer. Whether you're in the boat, whether you're trying to decide between which model to get, remember, if 
If you don't need all the newest things and you want to save a little money, then definitely go with the refurbished or the older early 2013 model. But if you need all the processing power, you need the faster PCI based flash and the new NVIDIA GeForce graphics card with an Iris Pro and a little better battery life, then definitely go with the machine that I chose. And you've also got that nice middle ground at the $2,000 mark with the 2.0 as well. So it's up to you guys. Stay in tune for some more videos that we have coming soon. We've got some reviews on some bags and other things. Check out our videos before. And I guess until next time, well, yeah, until next time.